Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Good to see you all tonight. Like somebody's looking for their mother. <laughs> I hope they can found her. <laughs> Praise God. The name of my uh, message tonight is God is the Source. Amen. 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 And uh, I was listening to a testimony just before I came tonight. And. Uh, this minister was talking about that uh, he was uh, preaching and the Lord said, all of a sudden he said that the Lord gave him an impression, impression and said that there is an anointing here for de debt cancellation, I believe it was, Glory to God. or mm -hmm. to be debt free, something to that order. I forget exactly how he said it. And he said, so anybody that needs uh, debt cancellation come up and said, would you believe that nobody came up <laughs> the pastor was getting ready and he heard it he says I would have ran up there <laughs> and that's you know that's what we need to do when God speaks we need to run yeah. Amen. and we don't need to, to lie lay around but anyway somebody one brave soul finally looked at her husband and pulled him he says we're going to the altar so they went and uh, he prayed over them, and the next, the following week, their their debts were canceled supernaturally oh, in a way that you would never, never expect. But God is able, isn't He? God is the source tonight. Turn with me, if you will, to Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. Yes. Amen. I think I'm ready for some debt cancellation. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I am too. I'm expecting to receive. Amen. So be ready. You Amen. never know when God said this might be the night that you get debt cancellation. You just never know. Praise God. Chapter 28, starting with verse 1, it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thine kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in, in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou shalt art called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, and the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to, be, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Now all these blessings belong to you tonight. Amen. Amen. All of those that hear the voice of, of the Lord and are obedient to his word, these blessings are for you tonight. Everybody say, these blessings, these blessings are, for me. are for me. These blessings, these blessings are, for me. are for me. Amen. Amen. 
Now, when I, the Lord first gave me this message tonight, I, I thought, Lord, don't you know this is Christmas? <laughs> uh, and, and at Christmas time, we all have need, don't we? <laughs> Amen. But you know, the Lord spoke to my heart and said, this is the very message that the church needs right now. Because at Christmas time is when we need more blessings and more prosperity than any other time of the year. Amen. And he said, I would not ask you to speak to a group of people on salvation if everybody was saved. And I wouldn't ask you to uh, speak healing, a healing message to a group of people who didn't need healing. Amen. 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 And so he knows tonight that you have need of blessings. Amen. And he knows tonight that you have need of prosperity. Yes. Amen. Amen. So just be ready to receive that prosperity tonight. Amen. Be ready to receive that blessing tonight. Because it doesn't matter uh, how many people we have to get Christmas presents for. God is still able to multiply our seeds that we have sown. Amen. 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 He is still able to provide for us. He is still able to get the blessings to us. He is still able to cause prosperity to come to us. He is an unlimited God. Amen. 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 So these scriptures, the blessings that belong to you tonight, these scriptures talk about prosperity belongs to you, health belongs to you, you will be exalted. Victory over your enemies belongs to you. The favor of God is on you and belongs to you. Success in every area of your life belongs to you. Supernatural provision belongs to you. Everybody say, that's me. That's me. Amen. You'll be blessed coming in. You'll be blessed going out. Amen. Amen. Every part of your life is to be blessed. Amen. That's God's will. That's God's desire. That's what God wants for you tonight. All these blessings are meant for you, his child tonight. Now, it's God's desire for every area of your life to be blessed. I noticed tonight that Patty said that we don't like anything. Amen. And that registered on the inside of me because I want, I believe that God wants a church that does not like anything. Amen. 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 Psalms 35 and 27. If you want to turn there. The Lord gave this to me in intercession the other day. Uh, Psalms 35 and 27. It says, let them shout for joy and be glad that they were my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Now, if you're a child of God tonight, you're God's servant, amen? amen. And he has pleasure in prospering you, praise God. Amen, let them shout for joy and be glad. Okay, and it says, let them say. Yeah. It is important what we say, amen? amen. amen. We are saying what we like too much. That's right. But we've got to say, May I magnify the Lord. Yeah. I praise God. Yeah. Because He provides all my needs. Yeah. Because He is a good God. Yeah. And because I'm His child. Yeah. I am His favorite child. Amen. Yeah. I have the favor of God and the favor of man. Yeah. Amen. The blessings of God just are poured out on me. Yeah. The favor surrounds me as a shield. Yeah. What you say is important. Amen. Amen. Say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. God takes pleasure in prospering you. Amen. He takes pleasure in giving you good things. Yes. He takes pleasure in, in blessing you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. God not only takes pleasure in, in prospering you, but he is capable. He is able and pro to pro prosper you, yeah. and He knows just how to get it to you. Amen? Amen. 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 He knows just how. He is an unlimited God. Yes. He has unlimited resources. Amen? Amen. God used a, a raven one time to feed somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. He can get things to you supernaturally. Amen? Amen. Amen. God used a, a fish to provide money. To pay taxes. That was supernatural provision. Yes. Amen. Right. God has not stopped working in the supernatural. Amen. He 
He's still working in the supernatural today. He's still working in the supernatural right here in this service tonight. Amen. God supernaturally uh, provided food for the Israelites. That was supernatural provision. He supernaturally uh, made, their made it where their clothes didn't wear out. Their shoes didn't wear out. Amen. That was supernatural provision. God can do that for you. I think I told the, gave the example one time about this woman. Uh, they were uh, members of this church and, and uh, so her husband had invited a, a group of people from the church to uh, go ice skating and uh, they lived of course well, you wouldn't go ice skating here unless you went to a place but they <laughs> went out to a lake and they went ice skating and so uh, she's at home she wanted to stay home and, and so uh she was cook, get, get ready to cook supper, and she was going to cook chicken. Her husband loved chicken. And so here, that he comes home after they've been ice skating, and he has all 19 people with him. They didn't have cell phones, and he just shows up home. Hi, honey. I brought the group home for supper. She said, I've only got one chicken. <laughs> you know what she wanted to do to him right at that moment? <laughs> she didn't want to really bless him, though. But anyway, she said, okay, bring him on in. You know, she's in there cooking that one little bitty chicken. And she's praying over that chicken, <laughs> over that dinner board. Please, I don't know what I'm going to feed. 19 people, 20 with herself, with this one little chicken. But she said that the Lord spoke to her and said, don't worry about it. Wow. So, she cooks that little chicken and what little bitty side she had to go with it. She sets the table for 20 people. They all sit down. She has that little bird sitting there <laughs> and said that there was a lot of men in this group and they all wanted breast, chicken breast, from this one little chicken. So the first man takes the chicken breast and then it goes on around the table. Well, they, all the men got chicken breast off of this one chicken. And everybody had plenty of chicken to eat. And there was chicken left over. It just, every time somebody got a piece, and that, a piece was replaced. That was supernatural provision. Amen. God is still able. Amen. He's still able. He's still on the throne. He's still doing miracles. He's still providing supernaturally. Amen. And he had mercy on that poor old husband. <laughs> He's still merciful. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God knows how to provide for your needs. Amen. He knows how to get it to you. God can do it for you. Amen. Amen. He's a good God. Amen. Turn to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. We're all familiar with this scripture. Verse 19, Philippians 4, 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now the message translation says, you can be sure. Woo, glory right there. <laughs> you can be sure that God will take care of everything you need. His generosity, exceeding for, uh, even yours in the glory that pours from Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. You can be sure. You can be sure tonight. Amen. Amen. That if you're seeking the Lord, if you're asking of Him, if you're looking to Him as your provider, as if you're looking to Him for the one to take care of you to meet that need, amen, you can be sure that He'll do it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You can be sure tonight.
not. You can be confident. Amen. And our God, our Lord, our Savior is exceedingly generous. He's exceeded, exceedingly generous. Amen. Amen. The Amplified says it this way. And my God will liberally supply. Amen. He, oh my goodness, liberally. Think about that tonight. He will liberally supply. Fill until full your every need according to his riches and glory in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Amen. He's a generous God. Yeah. He's a glorious God. Yeah. And he'll still meet your need today. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Turn to Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Verses 1. And I'll skip down. Verse 1 says... The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. We can just go home right there. We can just stop right there. Amen? The Lord is my shepherd. Is he your shepherd tonight? Is he your Lord tonight? Is he your Father tonight? Is he your God tonight? I shall not want. Hallelujah. In the message translation, it says, God, my shepherd, I don't need a thing. If God is your shepherd, you've got somebody, amen, that you don't need a thing because he will su supply that need. Amen? amen? And verse 5 says, you serve me a six-course dinner right in front of my enemies. You revive my drooping head. My cup brims with blessings. Hallelujah. God provides. He provides. He is the provider tonight. He is the God that supplies all your needs. He is the God that cares for every need that you have tonight. Amen. A good God. An awesome God. Yeah. A caring God. A loving God. Yeah. A God who is more than enough. Amen. He's not just enough, but He's more than enough. Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 34. Psalm 34. 8 through 10 says, Oh, taste, and we sing this song. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Can't you say that tonight? He's good. Amen. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. See, that's where we fell a lot of times. If we know God can, we know he's able, but do we trust that he will? Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Amen. A lot of times we'll try to trust in man, but they fail us too many times. They fall short. But when we trust in God Almighty, he never falls short. Amen. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want. Everybody say no want. No want. There is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Amen. There's that word, seeking the Lord again. Amen. Amen. The Amplified Bible says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord, our God, is good. How blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who takes refuge in him. That's you tonight. That's the child of God tonight. Oh, reverently fear the Lord. You, his saints, believers, holy ones. For to those who fear him, there is no want. Verse 10. 
The young lions lack food and grow hungry, but they who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. Everybody say no lack. No lack. Hallelujah. They who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. God is a good provider. He's a good provider tonight. Hallelujah. But you have to trust in God to do it. You have to trust that He is a good provider to you. That He wants to provide for you. That He wants to meet your need tonight. Because the devil will try to talk you out of it. You know, you know, God doesn't really want to do this for me. Or, you know, I'm just not really good enough for God to do this for me. Well, that is all the lies of the enemy. But God, in throughout His Word, tells you that He wants to meet your need. Tells you that He wants to, to bless you. It's His good favor to bless you. Amen. It's His good favor to, to give you every need. Amen. So I want to challenge you tonight. I want to challenge you to take your faith to another level. Whatever need that you have of tonight, maybe it's something that you've been praying for for a long, long time. I want you to dare to believe God that He'll do it. Now what happens a lot of times is we'll put God on our time frame. God, I believe you, you know, I was in this service and all the faith and everything was going on and it was so awesome and I just, I could just whip a, a bear with a, a, a twig. <laughs> That's where my faith was in that service. And so I believe you for such, such and such. When we go out of the service, we get home, and things might not be favorable. You might have something on your answer machine saying, uh, you know, you owe such and such a money, and we're coming to get your car tomorrow. Jesus. Jesus. Well, your faith probably just flew right out the window. <laughs> so our faith and our trust and God is not from our circumstances or not from what we hear or what we see or what we feel. But it's in God Almighty because of who He is. Because of what His Word says. Because of what He says belongs to us. Amen. Amen. And so when we pray and ask God in believing to provide for our need, we need to say amen, amen. and thank God amen. until we see there it is. Yes. There's the answer right there. Because our trust in Him will bring the provision. The, our trust in Him will bring it to us. Praise God. Remember tonight that God is your source yes. for every need. Amen. Say that with me. God, God. is my source, my source for every, for every need. need. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready to believe God tonight? Amen. Are you ready to believe Him for something that looks like can't be done? Yes. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Yes. God's a big God. Amen. Yes. He's a big God. Amen. Amen. He knows how to bring it to you. Yes. He knows how to do it. Hallelujah. He'll be working in the background the whole yes. time. Yes. He'll be working things out. Yes. He'll be moving and adjusting things. Yes. Speaking to people's hearts. Yes. Showing favor. Giving restoration, yes. provision. Yes. But you know it's not going to be without a battle. Amen. Every victory yes. comes from a battle. Yes. Amen. Yes. Wish it wasn't. Yes. It would be wonderful yes. if we didn't have that. 
But it doesn't make God any less powerful. Amen. It doesn't mean make any less uh, mean any less that He doesn't want to do it, right. or that He uh, won't do it. That's right. Because He will, Amen. even when those voices shout at you that it will not happen, that it can't happen. That's a lie that the enemy wants you to to take. Amen. Because when we stand on God, when we have trust in Him, we stand on the Word of God. It doesn't matter what they say. It matters what He says. Amen. Hallelujah. It matters what He says. He has the last word. He has the final word. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to call you up tonight, but right where you're at tonight, if this message spoke to you, if it burned in your heart tonight, and there's some area area in your life that you want to believe God for, whether it's healing, whether it's salvation for a loved one, whether it's provision in your finances, Whatever it may be, God's hand is not slack. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His word's already told us it's his will. It's his good pleasure. It's his desire tonight. Amen. 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 So just reach your your faith, your heart, faith out tonight. Reach it out to him as I pray this prayer of you. Father God, we just come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father God, that you are the provider of every need, Father. That it is your good pleasure and your desire, Father God, to bless us. And we thank you, Father God, for for who you are, Father God. And you are what your word says you are. You are. And we thank you and we believe you tonight, Father God. You are the healer. You are the Lord. You are the mighty God. You are the provider tonight. You are the Savior. And Father, we just reach out with our faith to you tonight, Father God. Coming to you, Father God, with faith and trust in our hearts. Surrendering this to you. And asking you, Father God, to move in this situation and this need. And this family member, and this area of of, uh, need in my body, and this area of need in my finances, and this area of need on my job, this area of need in my family, this area of need in my marriage, this area of need and whatever it is tonight, Father God, I surrender it to you and ask you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap.